What's going on guys? Welcome back to the University Channel. Today we're heading into Feline Good Cafe. It's sort of a cat cafe and located in Cardiff. Never been to something like this before, any of us, no guys? No. So it's going to be a new experience for all and we're all very excited. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, so what is it like to actually work in a cat cafe? To be honest, like, this is my first job, so I don't really know like, how to compare it to anything else. Some days it is just brilliant. You get uh, people who come in are just lovely, and you, you know, they're not only just they're passionate about cats, but they're just like the nicest people who want to yeah. come and spend time um, with other people who care about animals and just create a sense of community. Some days, um, particularly when Winston is actually have like, like you just love him, but he's just trying to take your hair out. So yeah. just, it's just like, oh, God's sake, Winston, stop trying to eat people's food. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good job to me, I mean. Oh, wow. There we go. Does Winston even need it though? No, Winston doesn't need it. That's okay. That's, no, that's okay because they're just resting. Oh, they're, they're brothers. <laughs> the only thing is now he is actually covered in hair. So far, what has been the response from people who have visited the cafe? Overwhelmingly positive. Oh. Majority of people, when I invite them in, um, they just have the happiest look on their faces. It, it's really rewarding actually, sometimes um, I'll bring them in, you can tell them they're buzzing with excitement. And, it, and it's perfect when one of the cats just wanders down, I've had people actually scream with excitement. To a, I mean of course, you know, we're all crazy cat people here, yeah. and some are a little crazier than others I guess, but everyone has just been so um, positive. Uh, about the experience, about the cats. I mean, obviously, like, if you go online and read about it, they, um, Winston's already become an online celebrity because <laughs> everyone writes about how Winston's, uh, Winston's the naughty little one. What if someone would come here, enjoy the cats, and all of a sudden would approach you and say, I'd like to want to adopt one of the cats? Yeah. Oh, we've had that a fair few times. Because um, we do have on our menu say that uh, the cats will at some point be up for adoption. Most of the time I just have to say, I'm really sorry, but then none, of them, uh, none of them are ready to go anywhere right now. But we want to keep it stable in that colony because the, the, the cats, they know each other, I know them, I know what their personalities are like, I know how, what to expect with them. So it, it, it's important for us to have some kind of consistency, especially because if the cats, you know, they've got new people coming in every day, who uh, new sights and sounds and smells, and there's always, there, there's always that little challenge of like, what are they going to be like with this particular person? It's fine, 99% of the time. Um, but if we kept cycling cats in and out, however, however lovely it may be to be constantly meeting new ones, it would be a lot more stressful for these cats, mm -hmm. or the ones that were left behind, because they would always be having to learn how to deal with new, uh, with the new arrivals. We, we do want to find new homes for them when we think that they're ready for it. It's like well, maybe when they've been here for a couple of years or we think that they're not dealing with the environment quite as well as we'd hoped. So I've gone with the chocolate brownie. There's loads on the menu. Can't see that fit in my diet at the minute, but holiday's two weeks away, so should be all good. They pretty much cater to anyone, so I highly recommend coming down. And you don't ha all have to be silent while I'm filming. <laughs> it just makes the experience a lot harder. Hello. You're not a cat person either. No. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm a cat person. I can see the look in your eyes. Yeah. Like, come, come over here. She, she kind of looks down on most people. Mm. Alright everyone, we just finished our tour of the cat cafe. Your thoughts? Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm not normally a cat person, but yeah, it was good fun. Uh, I very much am a cat person, and I had the best time. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not a cat person too, but it beat my expectations. And the chocolate brownie. Oh yeah. Try the chocolate brownie. brownie. <laughs> right, catch you all later. Bye. It's a very chill that place to be honest. Oh, he's not, he's not minding you anymore, Lucy.